What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. The Earthmaster here uh, with an update video on this end of the work week. It is Friday, January 14th, 2022. Uh, just about noon here in California. Latest quake out there on the USGS map shows quite a bit of activity ramping up in the California region and also an earthquake out there in the Hawaii area. Of course, southeast flank showing quite a bit of movement over the last 24 hours with continued activity there at Kilauea Volcano to the north. Uh, looking at the west coast, showing some activity up and down the plate boundary, including some movement up here off the coast of Alaska and the uh, Vancouver Island area where we've seen a little, little bit of movement uh, last night along the uh, Delwood Seamount area. This is just shy of the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. A couple lower grade 4.0 uh, magnitude earthquakes there. To the west of the Queen Charlotte Sound, also up to the north here off the coast of Alaska, uh, seen a 4.6 near the Pelican Alaska area at 15.8 kilometers. Don't see a whole lot of movement in this region, but uh, things kind of kicking up a little bit there along the plate boundary of the North American and Pacific plate. Uh, getting into the California area, looking at a little bit of movement along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. You can see that uh, 2.3 kicking up there within the last hour at 5.5 kilometers and some movement inland as well uh, just south of Concord, uh, Concord and the Antioch area a couple low grade twos kicking off there things kind of mellowing out through the uh, eastern crest of the Sierra Nevadas not a whole lot to report in these regions uh, even the ridge crest area shown a little bit of declining earthquake activity uh, right now on the map just a couple small microquakes throughout the vicinity of the ridge crest region Southern California, the same thing. Not a whole lot going on. Little query blast out there measuring 2.0 uh, near the Holmes Gardens area. Uh, and also some activity along the San Jacinto Fault Zone again following that 3.9 uh, earthquake uh, just a couple days ago in that region. Still seeing quite a bit of swarming movement kicking up there uh, in that area. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Get a detailed count looking at about 136 earthquakes <clears throat> excuse me following that 3.9 from the other night uh, most of these definitely microquakes very small quakes at that 3.9 was the largest it's amazing uh, even how a 3.9 can uh, trigger so many aftershocks in this area of california uh, just due to the uh, amount of stress and the uh, dynamics of the plates or of the of the fault systems down here i should say uh, pretty crazy to look at that many uh earthquakes from a small magnitude earthquake uh intermountain west region things kind of calming down as well uh yellowstone not showing a whole lot here on the map but there is definitely some activity ramping up here uh, in the northwest corner of the park you can see activity mostly confined over here to the eastern part of the area uh, around the borehole and the promontory zone up here around the maple creek region this is going to be that 6.6 .6 that struck overnight in the Indonesia area. It's a pretty large signature from that earthquake. Localized earthquake activity still shown some signs of life as well within the vicinity of this area of Yellowstone. Uh, but overall, nothing significant taking place there at Yellowstone National Park. Let's go ahead and check out the activity in the Indonesia area where we've seen that 6.6 .6 into the Java Trench. 37.2 kilometers for the large magnitude earthquake uh, has fo been followed up by... Uh, uh, at least one aftershock, 5.4, about 32 kilometers, a little bit further upstream, uh, closer to the trench region, but uh, overall activity just kind of uh, mellowing out northward, uh, back behind it to the east, some continued buildup of pressure along the Indonesia islands, and uh, things over here to the west, to the further to the east, Fiji islands pretty quiet we did have one renewed earthquake here along the Kermadec Islands area along the Kermadec Trench 5.0 uh, at 10 kilometers the rest of New Zealand Australia looks pretty quiet according to the USGS uh, in the South America region things awfully quiet as well not a whole lot of uh, movement whatsoever a little bit of earthquake activity into the Peru Chile Trench and uh, Atlantic Ocean pretty quiet Tanzania did have a little uh 4.4 earthquake at 10 kilometers but overall nothing significant popping off there in that area of the world let's go ahead and check out 
the activity on the sun where things are a little bit more active compared to the earthquake activity uh, looking at least uh, over the next couple nights or so some geomagnetic storming popping off here with a g1 at least g1 class storm uh, over the January 15th, January 16th time frame. This could amplify a little bit further. Uh, looking at 65% chance higher latitudes with 70% chance uh, for the higher latitudes on the 16th. The Aurora forecast here calling an enhanced movement right now uh, on the dark side of the Earth. The opposite side of, of course, the states. Uh, so uh, they're getting in, it looks like some uh, potential auroras in the sky there pending their sky is clear. That will amplify, of course, overnight. Looks like right now just a G uh, or KP index up around the three level, but I'm thinking that's a little bit more than uh, than uh, what it's showing here on the map. Uh, there was another uh, incident on the sun, a filament around 2925, sunspot 29 or 29, yeah, 2925 uh, erupted earlier. The event launched, launched a coronal mass ejection, which is a CME into space and possibly towards our planet so this is secondary to the activity that we're already expecting from a coronal hole right here this thing earth facing providing us with some enhanced solar wind speed and uh, that causing some uh, of course storming there at the higher latitudes over the next couple nights but as I mentioned this could be enhanced a little bit from the potential CME uh, that was uh, produced from the um, from that sunspot. So pay attention here coming up in the next couple nights. Sunspot activity is kind of numerous, but nothing significant at the moment. Just a little spotty activity around the Earth-facing side. So watching things pretty closely on the sun. We'll see if we get any uh, uh, any cool shots there from the folks up in the higher latitudes of some auroras over the next few nights. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump off here. Live stream is down, FYI. I am doing a couple updates and some resets, so I will bring that up real soon. In the meantime, enjoy your Friday. We will be back a little bit later this evening with Miss Mimi's, and uh, we'll do an update video, and we'll chat at you guys then. Stay safe out there.